What's up guys, G1Hextron here, and today I thought we'd take a look at the difference between Takara and Hasbro's Generations or Modest Starscream. The one on the left being Takara, the one on the right being Hasbro. First thing you kind of notice is the red on this guy is actually a painted red, to where on this Hasbro version it's actually a red colored mold, which actually kind of turned out to be orange in my opinion. So there's a little bit of difference there. The other thing is the yellow. You can see that this guy has kind of a banana color yellow to where this one's got a little bit more of an orange tint. The other thing is the missiles. These missiles are obviously orange, where these missiles are obviously red. Uh, the other thing, if we kind of focus here on the Hasbro, is these translucent pieces that you'll kind of push through. Now they're the exact same color as the Takara, so you're not going to get anything different there. But on the canopy to where this is a orange translucent piece, just like back here, uh, the Takara version is actually a painted black. Now, speaking of black paint here, on the Hasbro, you did get some. You had some here in this front fin, and you also had it going around this little missile section, uh, which was black paint. Now, whenever you look at the Takara version, it does have the black paint here and here. Uh, it actually has it... No, that's not black paint. Uh, it has a little bit up under here as well. Uh, but this is actually a pearl kind of black paint to where on the Hasbro version it's just a flat black. There's no kind of like shine or speck to it to where uh, you did get that on the Takara version. Uh, also another thing, and you'll see this a little bit more in the legs, this is just black molded plastic in the legs to where on this guy he was actually a white mold but they painted that black around the edges here and that also has that black you know kind of pearl or metallic looking paint. Other thing with this guy, as far as paint goes, he is essentially just that uh, orangish or red color plastic, but he does have some gray paint here. You can see it there as well, here and here. Um, nothing here on the back. I mean, it's just the, the same. It's just the other side. This is actually just, you know, gray molded plastic or silver molded plastic. Uh, with this guy, instead of doing the red here, they did it on the outside. Looks a little bit more... Uh, like the original Armada figure, if I'm correct, I haven't seen that guy in quite some time, but I'm assuming that this is supposed to look a lot more like the Armada figure that you got, like, you know, back in the day. Also got the red paint around here. Uh, you also have red paint here, um, which are going to be the shoulders, to where you did not get that with the Hasbro. Uh, you also have red paint going all the way around here. Um, you know, with the wrist as well, so, and, you know, here up at the front. And you can also see the yellow a little bit better, to where there's that banana yellow, there's kind of that more orange tint. So, definitely so far in jet mode, this is the winner. And it's pretty much going to be that same way with both these guys. And let me uh, get these missiles out here, so you can see the difference between those two. And there's the difference between the Takara and... Right, so if you haven't seen the transformation already, I'm going to do it on the Takara. I already have the Hasbro version done. First thing we're going to do is flip up the landing gear right here. And then we're going to disconnect the arms. They're just pegged in right there. There's a slot. And bring those down. Uh, then you will pull out the legs from each other. And just come down about halfway. Spin those to where the fins are forward. Then you can push down in with those. Bring out the feet, grab this back heel, cell, uh, heel spur section, bring that foot forward, and grab that. Just kind of even those out. Then with the chest section here, you're going to collapse that. First, you're going to pull this down, come down with this, reveals the head there. Uh, you can leave these however which way you want, they just kind of look stupid that way, so I put them back. Then you can bend the wings. Uh, you can also detach the swords here, uh, just to show you how they're done if you haven't seen it already. Uh, just detach and open them up and you've got yourself two nice swords. But we're going to leave them in there for right now. Just because I mainly want to do the comparison. Most people have seen this already, but uh, if you haven't seen the transformation, then I wanted to cover that. Uh, then with the hands, go ahead and flip these out. And there you have yourself a nice, you know, transformed generations are Mata Star Scream. You can kind of bend these. These are on ball joints, so you can bend those or leave them flat out. I just kind of put a little bit of a tilt to them. They look nice. But uh, first off, to uh, kind of look at some of the paint on this guy, since this is the main event, then we'll get into the comparisons. Uh, you got that nice red paint going around here. That kind of orange tinted yellow it kind of shows through there. The wings look nice. Some of the paint that you weren't able to see uh, whenever he was in... Um, you know, his jet mode, 
uh, basically the black throughout here, the red on the feet, and his hands are actually painted black as well. And I, I do like the, the red going around here. It just kind of adds a little bit more touch and character. And they didn't just paint over, you know, this section right here. They actually, they saw that this was part of the molded plastic and they went down here. So, um, very nice attention to detail. I do like this. And in my opinion, this one, you know, the car version, this is one of those cases to where it is far superior than the Hasbro version, in my opinion. All right, here they are next to each other. And you can kind of, you know, tell for yourself or decide which one that you like. But uh, I, I do like the, the white on him and having the red toes. And uh, everything just kind of breaks up a little bit more with that white on it. I mean, it it's just so nice looking. Uh, you know, if you can't, you know, really want to pay the import price for this guy, this is definitely one to go with. Uh, I don't think you would be, you know, this happy with it. But if, you know, if you got the little bit of extra money to splurge on it, go with this one. This is so much more better. So, uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, I will talk to you later, and I'll probably bring you some Starcom later this week.